Hi, I'm Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation, and I'm going to see if I can help you with this question, which is how to show love and affection to your wife. And hopefully you're already watching these videos and you're subscribed, but if not, it, it might help you because our approach at the Marriage Foundation is quite different from what is mainstream. Uh, we base all of our marriage help on solid principles, reality, and a go forward kind of approach rather than, oh, this is bad, you know, how was your childhood? We don't go there. So you want to show more love and affection to your wife, probably because she said something to you or you read something somewhere. And this is, you might say, at the crux what I'm going to share with you now is at the crux. There is this misconception out there that people live according to their own philosophies, but it isn't true. We live according to our thinking, and our thinking is habitual. We are a product, or our, our outer behavior is a product of our inner thinking, habitual. Not necessarily how we really feel, but it's just habits. Um, you probably know some people who have racist tendencies, but they would never admit to being racist, and they're sincere, they don't believe they are. But somehow, they got these attitudes going in their mind, and from the outside, they are racist, but from the inside, they're not. And this is true of all of us. And so you want to be more loving and show more loving. Let your wife know that you love her. What is actually standing in your way of that is your thinking, your habitual thoughts. Now, I'm not going to BS you. I'm not going to tell you just do this, just do that, and everything will be fine. I used to be a divorce mediator, and I used to tell people oh, everything will be fine because I believed it was true back then when I was helping them get a divorce. It took me a while to realize everything isn't going to be fine when you get a divorce. So it's over 20 years now that I got into helping people with their marriages, and because I wasn't ruined by Western psychological thought, I was able to sort of devise the whole idea of what marriage really is and how to make it work, which includes showing love and affection to your wife and your wife showing love and affection towards you. And the biggest problem that I ran into is exactly what I just spoke about. How do we change our thinking? And you want to show love and affection. Where does that come from? Where does love and affection come from? It comes from our heart. Where does love come from? Now this may surprise you, and I'm not going religious on you, but you are a soul. I'm a soul. Everyone is a soul. And you've met your soulmate, your wife. Soulmate, right? It's not just on a greeting card. And you want to be able to relate to her on that level of yourself as a soul with her as a soul which means you can't come from the mind. You have to come from the heart. Do you understand? It's difficult, especially for men, because we are designed by our gender to be more reason-oriented, where women are more feeling-oriented. And when I say feeling, I'm not talking about emotions. So we need to learn how to come from our heart. I devised, and this whole thing isn't a sales pitch, but I devised a mechanical process that you can employ to start training your mind to come from the heart. Now, maybe some people are going to tell you, well, try this, try that. None of that is going to work. Guaranteed it won't work. But what I'm telling you will.
Now I devised a technique, it's called the SO technique, stop, evaluate, and act with wisdom. And wisdom and love are the same. And that combined with other things you might say, will help you gain control over your mind so that you can proactively open up your heart. It isn't the easiest thing to do, but it's the most necessary thing to do. One of my heroes in this life is Steve Jobs. He passed away from a terrible disease, but he said he didn't make it in this life. Now here's a guy who had it all, you might say, but he said he didn't make it because he didn't experience what he thought was just connection. He didn't have a good connection with his wife, his children, but the truth is he didn't learn how to open up his heart. You can, and when you can, and when you do, then you will have it all. You will have whatever prosperity comes your way, you'll have harmony in your home, and you'll have a connection with your wife at this very high level. Here's the truth. The truth is you're not going to get this in a video. You're just not. I've written some books, Breaking the Cycle, Lessons for a Happy Marriage. They may not be enough for you either, but we have a course for men, and that will be enough for you, and you should look into it. I'm Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. Take a look at our website, themarriagefoundation.org, or you could go to tmfinfo.org. Check us out. Thank you for spending time with me. Like this video, subscribe to this channel. It's starting to rain, so I'm going to end this video. God bless and take care.